All right, look, man, it's it's a big game. It's a big, big game. Big, big game, huge game. You know, um, people have been talking to me saying about, okay, Messi, Messi, blah, blah. Why don't you talk about Messi? Why hasn't he proven yourself to me? I still say the World Cup is an acid test, but tonight, Messi can go a long way to convince me that, okay, this guy is really something. Because they're 3-1 down, and you know Messi needs to rise to this occasion, man. You know, because obviously now Inter Milan are favourites. But um, but really, guys, if you think about it, guys have said that, oh Inter Milan, they're definitely going to go through. If you think about it, Barcelona have beaten Inter Milan before 2-0. And yes, I already mentioned that it's a semi-final, it's Champions League semi-final. The mentality is different from having a group again. Wayne, that you can't afford to lose a match. Inter Milan now know that wow, they cannot afford to lose this match, especially 2-0. So, you know, I'm just thinking that, you know, for Barcelona, obviously, they will be going to try and get an early goal. You know, I think that's what they'll be doing to try and get a goal as early as possible. And for Inter Milan, I feel they will have a counter-attacking set up. You know, personally, that's what I'll do. I don't know what Mourinho is going to do, but personally, what I'll do is that Lucio is, is a beast. Lucio is a beast. Samuel is a beast. Okay, they're both beasts. And, you know, these guys, I think that if they keep the defense strong, because remember, man, they are 3-1 up. And Inter Milan know that they, if they can just squeeze a goal from somewhere, then it makes it even more difficult for Barcelona. Because also, man, remember, 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 um, they are 3-1 up and Puyol is missing. Puyol is missing and now got Milito right there in that, in that defense, you know. So, and against Arsenal, you know, Milito wasn't really um, tested, you know, when, when they played against Arsenal, they were not really, really, really tested, you know. But now, if it's for Inter Milan, you know, they don't have Puyo, Inter Milan can really go at these guys, you know. And I'm just thinking that, you know, I mean, like they said that Schneider is fit, obviously the Diego, Diego Milito will be playing, so that'll be interesting, brother against the brother. Um, but, you know, I'm still going with Mourinho doing the business still feel that Mourinho is going to do the business and I still feel that Inter Milan are going to win this thing. I mean, I said before that I feel Inter Milan are going to take this trophy, you know. But it's it's going to be a very, very tricky match, you know. And, and you know, um, it's like, I'm just thinking that, you know, okay, Barcelona, just look for a moment, just invest in, investigate and look, I mean, read, read, read between the lines. Group stage against Inter Milan, okay, that was different. Okay, Barcelona, they've been playing superb. Um, whenever, whenever they had the second leg at home, Stuttgart. Are they really that strong a team? How strong is their defense? Arsenal. Are they really that strong a team? They were missing Galas. Remember, one of their main central defenders. So the defense was even weakened. So an already not so strong defense is already weakened, and they were missing Galas. And now Inter Milan, you now got Lucio and someone. Remember, Inter Milan are fire because because they know that wow. They are very, very close to getting to the final. And they know that they have the biggest chance of, of winning it. Because Man United are out. Real Madrid are out. And as I've said against Bayern Munich, they're the only, they, they may be the underdogs, but they're, they're still pretty good. Inter Milan will feel that, my God, we can win this trophy. This is a great chance to win this trophy because we're going to be playing against a not-so-strong Bayern side. Dangerous, but a not-so-strong Bayern side. Who... You know, you saw what Man United did to Bayern and they did almost knock them out. So I think Inter Milan know that, man. If they can get to that final, they can win. But I think really for Barcelona, I just think that because they will really be biting themselves losing 3-1 because they know that if they were in a better position, man, they they know that they can beat Bayern. You know, they know that they can beat Bayern. And I think if Barcelona can somehow overturn this, I really think that, you know, they'll beat Bayern because Bayern Munich against a really attacking team and a team who also knows how to defend they will, will beat Baba and Munich, you know. Because, you know, they saw that with um Man United just like I mean Fiorentina they didn't really know how to defend that well. You know, and Man United having the guys set and sent off, you know, that whole thing. Um but I mean you know, I'm just thinking that, you know, this is gonna be a very interesting match because Barcelona they have to they have to come out and play. And Inter Milan know that Barcelona have to come out and play. And just with the again with the Arsenal match, you know Barcelona, they 
can't, they, they, they like to push up and they like to play the offside trap. So, in Milan, know that if they can counter attack and they can counter attack well, something can happen. And that's why Eto will be very key because you need someone who is fast, who is quick, who can really um, beat that offside trap, you know, because Melito isn't really that quick. But obviously, he's got very, very good movement. He's not that quick. And Eto, remember, Eto has been training with these Barcelona guys for a very, very long time. So he knows how they work. He knows how PK operates. He knows how Milito operates. He knows how these guys operate. So I think Eto will be very key because he knows these, these people. And again, I keep on having to stress, forget about that group game. This is a totally different thing. This is why Barcelona, obviously they may, they will use us with confidence in that we have beaten these guys 2-0 before, but even they will know that this is a whole different ball game. This is a whole different ball game. You know, Inter Milan are revved up. They're now back on top of the um, Scudetto Scudet, Scudet after Roma slipped. So really, they are feeling, you know, they are really having that energy. You know, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are on it, man. They are on it. And my prediction for this thing is like, I really can't call it. But I'm just thinking that this could be, I'm thinking 2-1. I'm thinking. I'm. I'm. That's what I'm. Sure. I'm just thinking. I'm thinking two one to Barcelona in this thing. You know, because I think Barcelona. They. I mean, I. That's the thing for me. I just, I just don't know, man. It's hard to call because I think that. Remember when Chelsea played Bas Barcelona? I think it was a year ago. Yeah, when they played Bas Barcelona, um, last season, Chelsea they held them, and they really defended. And the way Barcelona play, they don't like taking shots. They like to take a lot of passes, and Messi like to take the one two. So if Inter Milan. They play deep, they play tight, and they don't give Messi any space. You know, I don't think Barcelona can actually even will be able to even get a goal because Inter know that they've got a three-one lead and they can defend like dogs. So, and that's what Chelsea did did when when they came to the new camp last season that they just defended and they spoiled Barcelona's way of playing. Because if Barcelona do not play the way they play. They can't adapt. And I think that is the weakness of Barcelona. The weakness of Barcelona is that they do not know how to adapt if it seemed like Chelsea bring aggression and hard the defence into the game because it just spoils Barcelona's play. So in some if they bring in a hard tough defence, they more so messy about, you know, and they just keep that defence tight. I don't even think that Barcelona will even get a goal. They may get one goal, but I don't think that they may even get a, a goal, you know. So I'm still putting Inter Milan to win, obviously to to to, to win this fully, and I think that they'll. Um, it's, may, it's either going to be zero zero or two one on the night, you know, perhaps one one, you know. But I just without Inter Milan, I'll be I'll be very surprised. I'll be very surprised if this Inter Milan team concede two goals. You know, I will be very surprised if Inter Milan go to the new camp and they concede two goals because remember Lucio is a beast, you know, and. Um, Obviously, the the tricky thing is that they they are on yellow cards. That's the that's another tricky thing. So, then you will know that okay, there will be sort of fifty fifty knowing that okay, should I really go for that tackle? So really, Messi will be trying to make them do something. Um, Javi will be trying to make them do something and maybe force a mistake out, out of them knowing that they are on a yellow card. So I mean, it's going to be a very interesting game. It's going to be a very interesting match. And you know, I, you know, I'm very very excited to see. How what what, what 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 will happen, and what Messi made me doing this? You know, I'm very excited. So, let the games begin. Let the games begin.